Billy and the Mini Monsters Monsters go to a party. Meet Billy. Billy was just an ordinary boy living an ordinary life, until one night he found five mini monsters in his sock drawer. Then he saved their lives, and they swore never to leave him. We give you the secret Harry Snot Tooth Oath of Devotion. We're awesome. And fun. And scary. Are we scary? I'm not sure I'm very scary. One thing was certain Billy's life would never be the same again. Chapter 1 Party Time Billy was very excited. It was his friend Jack's birthday. And he was going to his dressing up party. Unfortunately, his little sister Ruby was friends with Jack's little sister, so she was coming too. That's the problem with little sisters. They are always there. Please be nice to your sister. But Billy found it very hard to be nice to Ruby. She destroyed his toys. Ruined his games. And always wanted to play in his bedroom. Let me in. There was no way Billy was going to let Ruby into his bedroom. Ruby had to learn that Billy's bedroom was private. Go away! because Billy had his top-secret pets to protect. The mini monsters. We can't wait to come to the party, said Captain Snot. I've been practicing the birthday song. Happy Snot Day to you, happy snotted to you. Air, that's not how it goes. The mini monsters had been busy dreaming about Jack's birthday party all week. Will there be balloons? And cake? What about cheese? I'm sorry, but you can't come to the party, said Billy. Not after what's happened the last few times. The mini monsters were always getting into trouble. At the swimming pool. Fongface and Captain Snot nearly drowning. Glip being sucked down the drain. At home. All of the monsters getting trapped in the washing machine. At school. Peep ending up in a hamster cage. And Trumpet sinking in a vat of baked beans. And at the airport. Gloop and Trumpet getting lost with the luggage. Billy had caused so much trouble trying to rescue them he had an O. TV for a week. Billy knew if the mini monsters came to the party, he would end up in even more trouble. I'll make it up to you, said Billy. I'll bring you back some cake. I want you to stay right here. We promise. Bye, called Billy. And he went out of his room and shut the door. In Billy's bedroom. Follow me. We're going to the party. But Billy said he won't even know we're there. Okay. The coast is clear. Oh. It's a bit steep. Up you come. Let's go. We. Now jump. At the party. Just remember. We have to stick together. Chapter 2. The Magic Show. Billy sat down with his friends. There was going to be a magic show. Let the show begin said the magician. He magicked flames from his wand, made amazing balloon animals, and even sawed the birthday boy in half. Don't worry, I'll put him back together. And now for my final and favorite trick, the rabbit in the hat, the magician said. The magician tapped his hat three times. One, two, three. Then he put his hand inside and pulled out. Fong face. That's not a rabbit. Arg. Where's my rabbit? There. Meanwhile, in the kitchen. I love parties. Ooh. Balloons. I'm going to fly to the ceiling. Come down. Balloons aren't safe. 
It's fine. Stop fussing. Oh. Don't worry. I'll save you.